Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Ryan and today in this video, I'll be showing you guys a quick video on how to rearrange your cars in GTA 5 Online after the 1.13 patch. So today in this video, I'll be moving my Zentorno from spot 10 where it is right now to spot 4 next to my Roosevelt. Also guys, this really should not be that difficult to do, but if for some reason it is. Um, I got really confused when I did this the first time, and it's just because you guys are moving cars back and forth between garages. So you guys will need another garage and another apartment for this. It's really not that difficult, but you know, the first time you guys do it, it may be uh, pretty difficult for you guys to do. But like I said, it really shouldn't be, and once you guys get the hang of it, it's very simple to do. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the car outside of its garage. You want to fill up the entire garage besides that one space. So leave number 10 spot open since it's my Zentorno, but fill up everything else. Now to save time, I just grab a car off the street, but you don't want to do this. You want to use your own car because if you guys just pull a car off the street and you guys don't have insurance on it, but it'll still be a personal vehicle and it will take up a spot even if you guys destroy it. So save yourself the hassle of that. Just put a car that you guys already own in your garage instead of pulling a random one off the road. So as you guys saw there, my number 10 spot was open, but everything else was full. So I put that car in my number 4 spot where I do want my Zentorno, which was in spot 10. I want that to be a number 4. So I'm going to fill up number 4 spot just for now, and you want to take the car over to your next garage. Now make sure guys you have a couple spaces in this garage as well. If it's full, it's fine. Um, you guys will just have to swap cars. That's really confusing. Just try to leave 2 or 3 spaces open in the other garage like I'm doing here. So now that you guys have parked the car in the garage, you want to grab a random car out of your other garage and you want to drive it back into the original garage. So basically guys, you're swapping out the cars. You're putting one car in one garage and then you're putting the other car where that car should be. It's kind of hard to explain guys, but just, you know, bear with me. So right now I'm putting my Viguero in spot 10 where my Zentorno was originally. And I'm going to take the car, which in this case is just this white piece of shit off the road. I'm going to take this to my other garage so that, that space is the only space open currently. And finally, to complete this process, you want to get rid of the other car, or, you know, if it's just a, you know, piece of shit off the road, get rid of it, you guys don't need it anymore. But if you guys, you know, kept it, then drive it back into your garage, grab the car that you originally wanted to move, so in this case, I'll be grabbing my Zentorno, and then drive it back into the first garage. You guys should have one open space, because you guys got rid of the other car, in my case, that white piece of shit, got rid of it, so that's the only open space, because number 10 now is filled my Viguero instead of the Zentorno. And as you guys will see, that once I swap the car, because this is what I was talking about, why you don't want to store random cars, because even if you get rid of it, you don't want it anymore, it'll still go back into your garage, but it is your personal vehicle, so you have to swap it out. Um, and that will actually bring me to another part of this video, you know, in a couple seconds. So, as you guys will see here, once I swap out my number four spot car for, uh, you know, my actual Zentorno, you guys will see that I store it in uh, that location. So, right here, the Tornado, that random, just white thing I pulled off the road, um, I want to get rid of it, but I, re I realized once I recorded this, um, you know, you can't do that. So once you guys keep them, uh, they're there until you blow them up, and then that even that spot is still taken. So make sure you guys use a personal vehicle just because it's a lot easier to do. Another cool thing about this is if you guys have a full garage with all your cars, your personal vehicles, and you want to swap them out, you guys actually can do that. So another way easier method, but you know I might as well just show both the methods because they are there, is you guys take you know a full garage, drive the car that you want to swap, and then you guys can pick whatever car you want to move. So it's very, very easy. If you guys you know have uh, the Viguero, for instance, and you guys already have a full garage, and you guys want to move it for, uh, let's just say, that Zentorno, you guys can just drive it to your garage. They'll say, are you sure? Uh, you know, one has to be swapped. And it will go to the other garage, but the car you want to, you know, you can pick whatever car you want to move. So I could take my Viguero. I could pick, uh, just switch it out for the Zentorno. I could switch it out for the Roosevelt, and it'll put it there. Um, the reason I'm kind of talking about this now and not before is just because I wanted to kind of explain the, you know, the hardest one first because, you know, some people don't like to do everything, you know, the easiest way. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but some people don't. So that is a way to do it. Um, but another way is, you know, just if you guys already have a full garage and you guys want to move a car or you guys, uh, you know, you have an empty garage and you have a full garage, take one of the cars from the empty garage, drive it there, it'll say you have to swap a car, pick the car you want to swap for that, and you guys can basically just move it like that. So you guys can really just take a car from your full garage, drive it to the empty garage, take a car from the empty garage, put it back in the full garage, go back to the empty garage, take that car you want to put in your full garage, drive it in, and then just pick whatever spot you want to move. So um, I know that, guys, that's really complicated. If you guys need to play the video again, please do. Um, you know, just kind of listen to that very, very slowly. But um, anyways, guys, really, that's about all for the video. It's a pretty easy, you know, video to do. Um, you know, many people should already know this, just kind of, you know, use common sense on how to move cars. But a lot of people, you know, it's, it's really confusing, guys. Honestly, it was confusing for me moving cars. Um, and I actually kind of just realized that you guys could move the car by swapping uh, while making this video, right before I started commentating. So, um, you know, honestly, I never even thought about it until then. So it is really a great way to move cars. There's two ways you guys can do it, uh, the hard and the 
less hard way because it is still pretty uh, difficult to move everything. Uh, it gets confusing just knowing where your cars are at. So anyways, guys, I hope this video has helped you. If it did, please make sure to leave a like before you leave and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new for the latest GTA 5 glitches, tricks, tutorials, and videos, just all, you know, in general, basically. And in a couple weeks, Watch Dogs will be coming out. And I hope to be doing a huge series on that. So if you guys want to subscribe for that, then please make sure to. I would love to read all your support in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.